so many people back in this neighborhood that need oh, to get boy. out and need to get out right now. And uh, the boats are, they're sl it's a slow process. And you heard some of these people talking. They've been waiting for, you know, several hours. And yeah. it, 11 o'clock last night is when they realized that they had a problem, you know. Yeah. And, and this, this Coast Guard helicopter may be here to help spot for some of the uh, boats that are back in there because we've been heard that you know, people were emailing me and texting me and saying, hey, do they know that, that I'm in my house, you know? And I walked over to the Texas Task Force One uh, guy and he said, yeah, yeah, we're going on every street, every single street they're going to go down. And uh, he said, as soon as they pull up with a boat, the people in the back of the neighborhood, they just, they wait out. You know, you heard the one guy, uh, Mr. Sanchez, we talked to him, he said that, you know, it, it, he was on his car. So he, there was no place for him to hide, you know, yeah. and, and the other people were on their roof. So yeah, this is, this is a serious, serious situation. And you know the woman I just took, spoke with just now, she said that she has flooded before, but there are other people I've talked to who said they they've lived in this neighborhood and they never uh, and they've never flooded. They just they just can't believe what they're seeing out here and and the the scope of the the disaster that's come to, to their neighborhood, you know, and just how much rain that we've get we've gotten and we're supposed to get more. And they it's just uh, this this whole neighborhood is going to be off limits. There's just no way anybody's going to be able to get back in here anytime soon to, to spend the night or, or anything like that. Well, you know? that's what I was wondering as well, Jeff, all because the you, everything you, is just you, gone now. Guys. The, woman talked about, the woman talked about her family from Pasadena. Um, that's a, quite a distance. I don't know how they're going to get 225 is shut down out of Pasadena. I-10 you can't pass through either, but feeder roads are blocked. You know, you could, if, even if a person tries to traverse their way through the city using side streets, uh, street after street is flooded, especially the low-lying low -line areas. I just hope that woman yeah. is able to find family yeah. to get take her out. Yeah. Well, and Jeff, yeah, well, you know, the, if, if they've got people who live in Pasadena, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, it looks like the helicopter is, is lowering itself. I was trying to figure out, are they doing anything in particular? Are they still just hovering? Can you see it all, whether or not? I'm going to show you if I can't find a task force. One. No, from my vantage point, I do see it just getting lower on the horizon. I don't see that they haven't uh, deployed any kind of uh, any kind of you know devices or anything like that. Yeah, no, are they actually going to pick people up on the helicopter? I'm asking task force one. They're not okay. sure. They're not sure at this point. They, yes, no, maybe, don't know. They're not. They're just not sure. But it's the task force one guys on the boat uh, that I just talked to the the guys, the supervisors out here, are sort of waiting. But yeah, it's getting so low that it's uh, it's difficult for me to see what kind of operations going on over there. I'm going to see if I can't get a little to a little higher ground over here while Matt kind of shows you over there. I'm, like they have taken anybody into the helicopter so uh, but and they may be doing exactly is, uh, what it seems like cage oh you knew um went off because their studio got flooded and um they were just broadcasting remote so it seems to me that their signal is completely lost um I wanted to show um you the video of the man being rescued the trucker but had to put this in so. it's right underneath that helicopter uh it looks like they're it looks like they're coming this way so maybe like i said like melanie you're right i think that it was probably just a spotter uh coming in you see another boat coming in and yes the number of young families and little kids and just just infants you know and yeah. what are you gonna you have a baby it's just, it's the you got your number one top priority that's what all the guys were saying the moms were saying it's just you got to take care of that little one and, and you got to got to make sure they're okay and, oh and boy they, they these people have I'm, i hate to say this but they can't yeah. help i mean they're just yeah, they're, they're just trailing oh out God. of there like um well, uh, it's, a, it's a line of folks, just hundreds, dozens of them back. And this yeah. is just one neighborhood. It's a line of I people. mean, we, we're talking about so many different mm, neighborhoods mm, that are in this similar this is situation. So devastating. I mean, where they were just desperately yes. trying to get out. And how many times have we seen pictures like that? Carrying oh, buckets and, you know, yeah. every flood we have yeah. here, that's what happens. Yeah. They're carrying out everything. But, you know, everybody, and especially this, this if you boat, get a chance. I don't know, you can see this boat right yeah, over here. Can. It's got the little one. Yeah. You see these little ones? They see the little ones, and they got their life vests on. Here, and okay. all these guys have, they, and Task Force One has done a great job. They've been putting Look at life this. vests on all these little kids. And, and, you know, every Look at this. Out of here oh, my gosh. Out. Has had a life vest on, and it, you know it's almost like they see. You can see like they have a little bit of sense of adventure in their eyes. Some of them, but others are just like this. That one guy's terrified, just terrified of what happened last night and what's still happening to their family and oh to their homes. Right now. Let's see if we can go over here. Well, and Jeff, what I'm struck by, by especially as you see people carrying all their belongings, is this just sense of shock on their faces, like they just survived, uh, as they have just survived a disaster. Um, as you see all those people walking across yeah. through the water, holding onto their belongings. And, and it looks like almost anything is being turned into a boat. 
Is that an air wrap that's being brought across there? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, it, 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 it's an air mattress. Your absolute artillery coming out with a wheelchair. Yeah, that's an air mattress over here. There's a one with a wheelchair too oh, coming boy. out right now. So, mm. you know, look at the guy with the wheelchair coming oh, out. Yes, yes. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my Texas gosh. One, the best that we've got there right here. The best of Texas. Take yeah, those are terrific. Yeah, yeah congratulations to them as well. Yep. <clears throat> They oh, are right. amazing. Yeah. We have live pictures yeah. as well, Jeff. I'm going to go see if I can volunteer at a shelter or something. Pictures, just to help out. Taking place. Is that right, Ben? With, okay. Yeah. And we don't know where that is. Ben, you'll have to tell us. On go the phone for it. Well, first of all, okay. I'm glad to see that that young woman is safe. Yes, we but are. Now glad. we're looking at uh, this is uh, the Gulf Freeway at Astoria Boulevard there. And as you can see, the freeway uh, virtually flooded altogether, although there are still cars the, that are attempting it. The freeway and then the feeder. The yeah. feeder is on the right hand side. The, the, the freeway is on the left. They're the feeder's right the here. The left, and the highway's right there. Running into high water, you're going to have to turn around. But you can see how the rescue is there that are taking place. People trying to get out of that uh, neighborhood into higher ground uh, from beyond the feeder, which you is see far people on coming the right across hand the side. parking lot. Through way steeper water. Yeah, and this is sure, this is the whole street this is down there. Fairly close to where the street is, isn't it? Uh, he's people are walking far. from the southwest. Walking yeah, from so the parking lot right. so down so across the street. So, yes, he's not too far away from this. So this, this median area. between the the street and the highway. Uh, this is median, and this is the road that runs along the highway. What did the National Weather Service call this? It was it, words that had never been used before in covering a storm. Right. I'm assuming the camera's just foggy right there because the people aren't coming out of the water. So this is just the camera's foggy right there. Wow. Life-threatening flash flooding. I mean, have, you've never heard that word used. No, never. I mean, it just gets yeah. to a point where it seems crazy.